Hi, it's Rich Tarani here. We are at the uh, Telex CBX 2009 event in Manhattan, and I'm speaking with uh, Chris Birdsall, who's with Global Convergence Solutions. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Great. Thanks for being on our program Thanks today. For, thank you for having I, me. I um, wanted to start out by following up on an interview I had with your CEO, Neil. Sure. Uh, Axelrod in the first issue of NGN Magazine, and uh, just get an update on, on what your company has been doing since that time. But we should probably start out, for those people who might not have had a chance to read that article, with a 30-second overview on what your company is doing. Okay, great. Um, our company does two distinct lines of work. First is professional services. What we do is we have a team of experts uh, who have all been engaged, all have 10 plus years in the telephony operational management uh, area. Right? So we know the operational complexities of running an NGN market. We come in, we teach them how to bridge the gap from TDM to IP, or in a complete greenfield situation, create a global IP network. That's great. Now, you, you mentioned to me uh, that there are a couple areas of your business. Do you want to just go through the two different sure. areas? Sure. The second area is our dynamic rate and route management platform. That's been right? gaining some traction. Absolutely. We've been getting a lot of traction. Uh, probably since the article is written, we've deployed 10 more systems globally. Wow. Um, we've uh, started selling this product commercially about, 40, uh, about 14 months ago. And so far, we've had success in 43 different carrier markets, uh, carriers around the globe. So we're really excited about that. The reason that we've created, the reason that we've had the success is we've created a very disruptive technology. We've taken all the operational complexity out of managing a carrier business and all the sweat equity out of that and automated all those processes. What we've done is we've created a true source-based routing engine that allows carriers to truly, truly achieve no loss lease cost routing with algorithms built in for their own biz business rules and algorithms built in to ensure that they get the highest quality of service and the highest profitability and margin out of every single phone call. The real differentiator, Rich, is that we're dynamic, whereas everybody else has built a static solution. They say, okay, here's all my data. I'm going to present you with how you should route. And carriers react to that. What we do is we stay in the signaling stream of every single call. We dip every single call and match every single call according to the algorithms built in our software and ensure that every single call receives that same attention and goes through at the business rules and how you want to operate your business. So does this involve MOS scores as well? It does. It does. So it's, uh, it's actually a great point. Um, what we operate our business on is uh, anyone who can achieve a SIP 302 redirect, um, we can read and interoperate with all their systems. So for example, if you take an Acme Packets or a Nextone, right, um, they give authoritative CDRs in which we read those MOS scores that are derived in that 93 field CDR, and we'll take that and be able to query back to say, hey, here's how this carrier is performing in real time, make adjustments, or continue to route to that carrier. So that's great. In terms of uh, the carrier, are there any uh, savings numbers that uh, you've heard of from your customers? Absolutely. Um, we had a situation with a carrier who came to us and said, um, boy, that, that, that price tag, well, well below the competition, you know, this is a tough economic time. How am I going to go sell that to our board? We wrote an ROI plan based on their traffic profile that allowed them to achieve a complete ROI within 73 days. And after we deployed that system, he came back to us and said, it actually only took 63 days. You guys are too conservative. Wow. So there's a lot of success stories like that. Well, it's, it's great to hear because um, <clears throat> the, the beginning early days of internet telephony and voice over IP was purely arbitrage. And then there became reasons to use voice over IP in terms of uh, flexibility and, and a slew of other reasons, redundancy and, and um, maybe uh, more uh, resilient equipment that you right. could, you could uh, take advantage of with the voice over IP. But it's amazing that you've now found an untapped arbitrage opportunity where you're able to save carriers money and sell equipment at the same time, sell a solution. Right. What we're doing is we're giving you a central point of command for all your business and operational rules, and we're really excited about it because 
people have these complex networks, whether they're bridging from TDM into IP or whether they're all IP. And while those components are very sophisticated, all of them don't talk and interact the way they should. What we do is we bridge all those elements together and give you a central command post to operate your business in real time. Now we're here at the Telex CVX event and uh, a question I wanted to ask you is about the news that you actually put out today uh, having to do with Telex. Can you tell us about that? Sure, absolutely. Um, Telex is a uh, great strategic partner of ours. Um, Telex opens, us, opens our market up to hundreds of new carriers. And uh, it also adds a value add for the Telex salesperson. The Telex salesperson is able to go into the carriers and say, hey, listen, I have a real value add. I have a product that can help you and has a sustainable ROI that's, that's achievable and demonstrable. And what it does is it allows them to add a value add and a value proposition to their carrier, and it also allows them to bring in and sell more rack space inside their facilities. Um, Telex has been an absolutely uh, great partner, and we're really looking forward to a great relationship with them going forward. That's great. So uh, as a, as a wrap-up question, can you tell me, um, I actually have two questions. One is where will your company be in the next few years, but the other question I want to ask is what are you seeing in terms of international and carrier, or international and domestic uh, carrier activity? So I'll let you run with the, okay. with the end of it. Um, where we're headed in the, couple, uh, the next couple of years is uh, probably down the same path that we've been. Um, we're looking to grow the company uh, about 1,200% this year. So it's a tremendous... 12, is that for, that's for the layman, that's 1,200% yeah, in, a, in yeah. the, one of the toughest economic environments. Yeah, well, it's good to be in the cost savings business, right? Yeah, are you right? hiring? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> where, where do people send us? <laughs> to you. Well, okay, to me. Okay, look, I'll be forwarding them along to... We're, to we're, we are getting a lot of traction in the marketplace and uh, growing substantially, which we're really excited about. That's great. Some of the activity that we've seen is Obviously, the margins continue to get thinner and sure. thinner on, uh, on domestic and international carriers, which is one of the reasons for our growth. We're able to put them in control of truly managing those margins and driving those margins in an automated, real-time fashion. Great. Now, what about the international question? Um, the international, as far as growth, or? Yeah, just how, are you seeing any differences between a carrier and, let's say, Europe or the Middle East compared to the U.S.? Yes, um, Europe and the Middle East. Um, uh, we're, as far as our business, I'm, I'm just trying to clarify the question. Yes. Are you noticing any trends or anything like that? I mean, I, I'm always curious, as our our viewers and, and uh, readers from around the world, as to how carriers may differ from continent to continent. If there's any difference at all. Right. We're starting to see um, peaks and valleys of the commoditization of the minute. Um, more traffic moving to the arbitrage market versus the traditional bilateral market, and definitely an increased focus on the mobile market as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for being on the program today. Thank you so much, Appreciate, Rich. Appreciate it.